Shaft voltages, or bearing currents, are present in AC motors operated by variable frequency drives, or VFDs. These shaft voltages can discharge through motor bearings, causing electrical discharge machining and resulting in unplanned motor failures, increased maintenance cost, process downtime, and lost revenue. To prevent electrical motor bearing damage, VFD-driven motors must have proven long-term bearing protection, such as the Aegis bearing protection ring. So let's look at the difference between when electric motors are operated by line voltage and when they're operated by a VFD. When electric motors are operated on line voltage, the input power is balanced in frequency, phase, and in amplitude. The sum of the three phases always equals zero volts when properly imbalanced. Note that bearing protection generally is not needed except for large frame motors in this situation. When electric motors are operated by a VFD, the power of the motor is a series of pulses, not a smooth sine wave. The input power is never balanced because the voltage is either zero volts, positive, or negative, with rapid switching between pulses in all three phases. The common mode voltage is usually a square wave or six-step voltage wave form. Because power is never balanced, bearing protection is needed. High speed switching of drives induces capacitive voltages. These voltages discharge through the motor bearings, causing electrical discharge machining, or EDM, of the bearing race. Now let's take a closer look at the motor itself. The electric motor acts like a capacitor. The pulses to the motor from the VFD create a capacitively coupled common mode voltage between the rotor and the stator, which then travels down the shaft through the bearings to ground. These shaft voltages are what discharge through the bearings and cause the damage. We're going to be taking a closer look at that in the next few slides. In a process known as electrical discharge machining, or EDM, the voltage builds up on the motor shaft until it exceeds the insulating capability of the bearing's oil film layer. At that point of insulation breakdown, the voltage discharges through the bearing. Shaft voltages may discharge during every VFD switching cycle, creating temperatures hot enough to destroy bearing lubrication. These voltage arcs cause rapid melting of the steel bearing surface through the process of electrical discharge machining. This will leave small fusion craters or pits or frets in the bearing race. Prolonged discharges causes widespread pitting of the bearing ball and race surfaces known as frosting. Fluting, which is a concentrated pitting of the bearing race at regular intervals, results in a washboard pattern on the bearing race. This is what bearing fluting sounds like. Ohm's law states that all electricity will seek earth ground through the path of least resistance. Without bearing protection, this path runs through the motor bearing. With an Aegis ring, this path runs safely around the motor bearings, protecting them from EDM damage. There is an additional source of bearing currents in motors over 100 horsepower. In large motors and generators, high frequency circulating currents can also cause EDM. Therefore, in motors over 100 horsepower, we must break the circulating current path. To do this, we must install an Aegis ring on the drive end and insulate the non-drive end bearing. 